Luke, what you got there in the boxes? Something cool. Something cool? Yeah, you want to see it? Show me something cool. All right, the first thing, so we got, uh, we have two keyboards from Mm keyboardlab.com. They sent us. Uh, The first one is a, it's called the Timber. Mm -hmm. It is a mechanical keyboard. Got this nice uh, carry pouch Mm -hmm. because this is wireless and uh, USB-C. Okay. This is a, uh, the caps they sent us are uh browns okay and uh they are linear um it's got some it's got a nice like wood finish on the back probably the timber name right (laughs) uh with some rubber feet for uh keeping it steady on the yeah desktop it's got a usb c port on the side here and uh this is full rgb so it'll be backlit um any color any color you want and it'll sync up with your uh computer uh this one i'm i'm moving the microphone i want you to hear this because it sounds very nice all right here i'll put you You ready for this yep that is nice this is the asmr podcast so what's What's so cool about a mechanical keyboard? Um, so it is uh, precise. Yes. And it will, uh, the input lag from when you're pressing a button, it's a little bit more um, noticeable or intensive when you're playing like a game or something. Right. Uh, most of the time, you're not really having to be super, uh, you know, timely when you're just doing regular internet browsing or something like that. Right. Uh, so generally most laptops or your home computer comes with just a regular keyboard. Doesn't have to be anything special, but mechanical keyboards have kind of grown in popularity over the last, uh, you know, 10 years or so, Mm -hmm. uh, because of the advent of, uh, more popular PC gaming and people want, um, a certain feel, a certain sound. Uh, you know, there's red and blue and, black and brown and green, all mm-hmm. different color key, key caps that all sound different. Some yep. are super clicky. Some are very quiet. Some are kind of middle of the road, which is what these browns are. They're a little bit middle of the road. Mm-hmm. They sound pretty clicky, but trust me, there are way clickier ones. Sure. Now, this is uh, like a cherry wood Yep. on here. It's a very nice, kind of like a premium. In the box, this one is compatible with Mac and PC. Okay. Uh, So in the box here, they give you, along with the carrying case, you get a braided USB-C cable, Mm -hmm. and that's uh, USB-A to USB-C. And then it looks like in here, you got two uh, keycap removal tools. Mm -hmm. Uh, One that's kind of like a little bit more stylized silver one, and then just a regular uh, plastic one. Mm-hmm. And you have uh, two replacement keys depending on what OS you're using. Right. So you got an end and a home button depending on if you're using uh, Mac or PC. Okay. Um, so that's the first one. That is the uh, Timber. All right. And then the next one is a little bit, little bit out there. All right. So what does this one run price-wise? Uh, this one's going to come in at 200 bucks. Okay. So... Mechanical keyboards, a little bit more expensive than maybe what you're used to if you haven't been, uh, if you're not used to a mechanical keyboard or if you're just looking at them. They range anywhere from, you know, low end $60 ones to up, you know, almost four or $500. And there's a whole custom market where you can get even crazier. All right. Um, but this one, because it's wireless, I'm guessing it's the added price tag to it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it feels pretty good. This one is the uh, Expo. Expos is the, I think, the brand, and mm-hmm. this is uh, the Light L I T E, the Expos Light. And this guy is an ergonomic styled keyboard. So that's the kind that has the split. Yep, so it's, it's supposed to be more... a little bit more comfortable. You're not doing as much wrist strain, less travel for the hands, mm-hmm. fingers too. Kind of set up for you to mm-hmm. be able to type. And longer periods of time in the box there, you're going to have uh, keycaps and the 
or a key extraction tool and a USB uh, C cable also. Mm -hmm. um, and that is this keyboard is just uh, wired. It is not wireless. OK, uh, if you can see this guy, it's strange looking. Um, you have a split in the middle here where you have your enter and your backspace are in the middle. And your controller and shift would be at your thumbs. And you have a split space bar. So this is definitely something that will be learned. You have to get used to it. Yeah. Uh, this one is also full RGB, mm -hmm. up to 10 million colors. Uh, it has uh, one difference from the other one is it has some uh, d little feet that you can put out. Right. For changing the uh, articulation of the keyboard. So if you want a little bit more of a ramp mm -hmm. uh, for comfort, you can do that. Uh, still has rubber pads on the bottom to help it stay secure wherever you set it down. It's not going to travel on you. Um, I did a little bit of playing around with this when we first got it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I noticed that if you're a traditional typer and you learned, you know, QWERTY, it's going to take a little bit to get used to this. Some buttons, if you're used to hitting with a middle finger, you're going to probably be switching right. around to a different finger. Um, if you are a person that types a lot for your job, it might be worth it to learn to reteach yourself because this is uh, going to be less fatigue on your hands. Right. But it's one of those where you might have to put in some outside work hours time uh, yeah. because your productivity is going to drop a little bit while you're learning. Sure. Um, this thing feels solid. It's mm -hmm. got a, a aluminum alloy base. So it's it's a nice solid uh, design. It uh, if it's pretty clicky. It's a little bit a uh, little less pronounced than the last than yeah. the, the timber. Um, but these are still brown key keycaps. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell uh, by the little color there. That's how you know what color your keycap is. Is uh, they're just coated. So if you have a black or red or blue or whatever, mm -hmm. it's that color. That's that's how you know. Um, now this one is a Windows only. Windows only. Yep. Okay. You won't be able to switch back and forth. Uh, at least that's what it says. Yeah. I don't know if there is a you know a piece of a driver or something you, you download for that, but as of right now, it just says for Windows. Yeah, because it I see the window on there, and I don't see any replacements for the Mac. Right, no replacement well. keys. You probably could get some software to you know, kind of trick it mm -hmm. into working, but, um, buyer beware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not supported out the box. Sure. Uh, this one, it, it rings up at a uh, hundred bucks. Okay. So cheaper than the timber, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit different design build quality feels really fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, sounds good. The buttons have a good travel feel. Yeah. These feel completely different than, the Bluetooth keyboard, the yeah. flat. Yep. You know, these feel a little bit more traditional typewriter. Definitely. Without that hard tapping. Definitely. But it it, it feels, when you say travel, I mean, it, they feel like there's quite a bit. Right. Um, yeah. So I'm excited to to mess around with these. these yeah. Uh, like I said, we got these from... Um, keyboard Lab. Keyboardlab.com. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, we'll see... We'll see what uh, what they feel like. Uh, we do these something cools, just stuff that we get in the office that aren't mm -hmm. really um, full reviews. But I mean, the world of mechanical keyboards is huge. So yeah. uh, we got them in. We think they're uh, pretty sweet looking, and uh, they're available if you're in the market. Uh, here's just two options for you. Yep, we'll have links in the description mm -hmm. for the video and uh, or the audio if you're listening to this. So. Uh, if you have any other products that you'd like to see, let us know. Shoot us an email. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, we'll be back again with some more cool things soon. Yep. Thanks, guys. See ya.